阿妈唔好，唔好 ，Go blow it with everybody。妈，我哋回来呀。We're out here in the shed. We're doing out in the shed. Come and have a look. Come and have a look. Where's my tea? What's this then? That's mine. He's Arthur just brought it home and it's wonderful. Who give it you? He bought it. <laughs> Get out of here! No, <laughs> <laughs> nah, this. <laughs> Do you mean to say you paid money for this old crate? <laughs> I intend using it to go to work. God, oh, me. I can see you tearing down the road at about ten miles an hour. Yeah. yeah well, that will still be nine miles an hour faster than your buses, won't it? Mind <laughs> <laughs> you, I'm going to be fair. Good idea having a sidecar. Yeah, well, I thought it'd be rather useful to be able to carry two passengers. Yeah. You need two people to push it. <laughs> I thought it'd be pleasant to be able to take your modern on it for trips in the country. You must be off your rocker. The old girl can't travel in that. Well, why can't I? Your poor old dad had one just like this. I often used to go for rides in it. He bought it in um, 1922. Did he? Yes. Well, the look of it could be the same one. <laughs> there is no need to be insulting. Never mind, love. 1922 was a very good year for motorcycles. Yeah. I only wish your poor old dad could see me going in it now. Blimey, well, one riding that, you'll be up there to tell him. Oh. <laughs> Here, Ollie, go and make some tea, love. Here, Ma. What? Come and try the side car for size. Come Got on, it. in you get. Oh. There we are. Is this safe? No. Yeah, well, it is, providing you get out before he starts it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, you can't get in there. Look, when I was courting your dad, two of us got him one this size. Oh. Two? Yes. Well, we couldn't afford the back row of the pictures in them days. <laughs> I remember in whopping one, so oh, we had to come up with time. Your own dad said to me... Hey, look, Ma, 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 you'll be safe enough. There's a good safety strap there. Oh, oh yes. no, that's very necessary. Looks a good one, too, Arthur, yeah. yeah. Tested enough, a yeah. ten-tonne of braking strength. Very mm. strong one. Very good, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, well, yeah, well, I'll have to fix that, won't yeah. I? Yes. I wouldn't bother it by you. It'd be quicker for Mum to get out. She goes straight through the windscreen. Oh, Yes. That means I've got a ride on the pillion. God, oh, blimey, it won't take you a wait. <laughs> God, look at that. Look at the tyre. <laughs> You're getting too fat. She was all right before she married you. Now she doesn't exercise enough. She doesn't do anything enough. <laughs> You're always too tired. Oh, oh. Shit. <laughs> Come on, love. Let's go and get the dinner on anyway, Doc. Always the same, isn't it? You try and please people. God, blimey, what's this? It's mine, mate. I didn't know you collected antiques. I don't trust them. Oh, I'd never seen one of these before. Yeah, where's the handbook? You'll find it in the British Museum. <laughs> Why don't you two shut up? Nothing wrong with this. Get out of the way. Good engine. Nice, quiet runner. Oh, go on in. Start it up. All right. Yeah, all, right. All, right. Yeah, all right, all right, mate. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. Watch this. Yeah. Well, you must admit that's very quiet. <laughs> that's beautiful. You'd hardly know it was running. Just like a Rolls Royce. <laughs> Blimey, his watch is making more noise than the engine. <laughs> why, don't, why don't you two shut? I don't know what's wrong with it. It was all right when I started it before. Come out of it. You're doing it all wrong. You yeah, little jerks like that. You've got to get it right at the top of the all stroke. Right. All right. right. And look, right at the top of the stroke, either like that, and a big hard push down like... <laughs> cool. no. <laughs> He's broken it! What, his toe? Oh. No, the starter! <laughs> Look at that! Oh, that's solid. Oh, they don't make them like that these days. Uh, they don't make them break off like that these days either. <laughs> well, you broke it, mate, you fix it. Well, bloody, it's easy enough. It's only held up with a couple of bolts. No, no, that's sheared off. <coughs> You'll have to strip your gearbox down. <laughs> all right. Get the tools, get the tools out. Oh, all right. Right. Yeah, right. They, they came with a bike. Oh, did they? Right, that's it. <coughs> you got the right spanner? Spanner? You're joking. You know what he's got in here? Look at that. A bent knitting needle. <laughs> There's a rusty safety pin. Half a tube of dried up glue. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Some rubber bands, mate. <laughs> well, now we know what's holding the bike together, don't we? Lovely, I can't fix it without tools. Well, I'm not buying new tools, mate. You broke it. You buy the tools. I don't have to buy tools, though, do I, hey? 
No, I'm a busman, and I work at a garage. See what I mean? You'll get in a trouble, mate, if they see you taking tools out of the garage. Yeah, but they uh, won't see us taking tools out of the garage, will they? Got it? <laughs> oh, oh, hey? oh. <laughs> <laughs> To get them. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> I didn't know what size to get, see, I, so I had a word with Joe, and he told me, uh, he's given these couple, he said they'll undo any size nut I've got. Cop. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're supposed to be mending a motorbike, not a QE2. <laughs> That's all he can let me have. Well, let's not argue. I said I'd slip these to Harper down the road, so give us a bunk up on the cab, will you? Yeah, right. Go on, here you go. Oh, whoa, oh, hey, go on there! Oh. <laughs> You're sticking into my ribs, isn't it? <laughs> right, isn't it? Right. OK, all, all right. right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> it's bunky red to slip down my leg now. <laughs> oh, oh, have you hurt yourself? No, and I'm cold. <laughs> Just take it easy. All right. Come on. Yeah. Right, right. Um, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's it. Get on it. Get your foot in. Oh, 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 What are you doing in here then? Uh, uh, well, it was, uh, it's the 10.30 to the cemetery gates so I thought I'd get in, you know. To... Well, just think about getting out again. <laughs> There's your bus over there, the 10.22. Nobody told us. <laughs> well, get over in the other bus, go on. Oh, yeah. You know. <laughs> Come on. Is it Yes, <laughs> What's wrong with him, then? <laughs> He's feeling his age. <laughs> oh, you busmen are an unhealthy lot, you know. Yeah. Don't you ever think about keeping your bodies in condition? Go on, get in that bus out of it. Yeah, right. Go on. <laughs> What's wrong with you, then? Er, uh, uh, um, uh, got a touch of the cramp, you know. It's uh, sitting in the cab all day that does it, you know. Cramp? You've got bad circulation, mate. Yeah. Well, it's all right, don't worry. No, it's not all right. If that leg's not functioning properly, you're not fit. It's all right, I can drive the bus all right. Drive the bus all right? You're not even fit to be a passenger in a bus. <laughs> you get that leg functioning properly. Yeah, well, what yeah. you need is a bit of massage. Oh, yeah. that's right. It just so happens I know what I'm talking about. I made a study of the subject. The spasm in that leg muscle needs to be relieved. Here, let me have a go. <laughs> get, get, get your hands off Don't you touch my leg. I was merely going to massage your biceps femoris, that's all. Yeah, you heard that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm shop steward, I know the rules. Inspectors are not allowed to lay hands on busmen. Yeah. Well, what rule is that then, for sake? Section 8, Appendix B. Well, that's a rule that states that an inspector must not get unduly familiar with the clippers and that. Yeah, well, that applies even more so to busmen. Yeah. <laughs> Twit. Well, there's only one thing for it, you'll have to do a bit of exercise. Here, watch this. Oh. <laughs> if he does that anymore, he'll take off. <laughs> Look, mate, I want to drive from the cemetery gates, not fly it here. I learned this when I was in the army. Did you? I used to have men suffering with cramp under me when they were in on manoeuvres. Yeah. Here, watch this one. Look. Oh, yeah? What regiment were you in? The Tiller Girls? <laughs> this is scientific, mate. Relax, it's an egg muscle. Look at that. Look, watch that. Well, Blondie's doing a can can. <laughs> Now lift your skirt up and show us your knickers. <laughs> <laughs> now look here. I am not having him driving that bus unless I'm satisfied that that leg is functioning properly. Now come on, let's have a look at it. Lift well, it up. I... Come on, lift well, it up. I'll tell you, it's a cramp. I can't lift it any higher. Well, lift it, it up then. Look, I've got it as his eyes oh, I can get blime, it. you are a feeble specimen, honestly. Straighten yourself up, man. Grab her chest out, come on. What's the matter with you? All, you're all tensed up. Relax it, I'll relax it. <laughs> uh, you must have caught your 
hand on the buckle of my belt. Belt? Yeah. Felt like a bit of cast iron. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Look, I'll tell you, the only way to do it, Jack, is give me a walk up and down the back of the shed. It'll take the exposure yeah, away, as he calls it. Yes, uh, so well, hurry up, back. You're late enough as it is. You'll be up. The cold compass on it. Number 11. Ah, there you are. <laughs> That's got rid of him. <laughs> it, it. That's it, isn't it? Yes. Amazing. Mm. Here one minute and gone the next. That's it. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Get that bus out of it. Excuse me. What's up with you then? I've got conductor's crap. Oh. There you go, mate. Thank you, Jack. See you, boy. Coming in. Oh, you needn't bother, Mum. Do you know what? I've stripped down that gearbox, put it back again in what? Under half hour, it, Arthur. Oh, it's working then. That is not what he said. <laughs> you can keep your sarcastic remarks to yourself. Now, start it up. All right, all right. Oh, come on, out of the way. Well, come out, look at it, everybody. Let's see what the magician's done this time. Yes. Right. Yeah. Working like a dream, innit, eh? Right, come out of it, Mum, come out of it, come out of it. Right, now look, Arthur, what you got? Olive, come out of it before Arthur runs you over. Oh, he wouldn't do that, would you, love? I might not be able to help myself. <laughs> right. Stick it in gear, stick it in gear. Stick it. Stick it. Stick it. Gig it. That's it. Right, let the clutch out, let the clutch out. I've let the clutch out, the gear's stuck. Well, it's not stuck, it's, I've tightened it up, and I'm a bit tight. Look, get your foot on. Oh, give it a good kick in, right? That's it. Right, right. Now, then, now then, let the clutch out and straight out the shed you go. Here right? Here we go, right in. Oh! 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 Oh!
cooled off lately, haven't you? <laughs> Give it here, I'm going to rub that rubbish off. No, don't rub it off. It's a smashing picture of you here, Arthur. Oh, it's not a bit like your love. Look, if we're going out, let's go now. Give that here. All right, I'll wave you off. I'll come and wave you off. Here, don't forget to lock the back door. Yeah, it's all right, love, yeah. Right. Here we are. Mind your neck. Mind your neck. Mind your neck. Here we are. Right. Right now, you get on, Olive, and uh, I'll give you a push out in the shed, Arthur. Right, right, thank you. Right. Is that all right? Yeah. <laughs> it's only one thing. You're covering up the real light. <laughs> right, now, get up. Go on, get up. Get up to Arthur there. Go on. Oh, I'll have to snuggle up tight. Oh, Arthur, this is the way we snuggle up in bed at night. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, were you snorting down my left ear hole? I should wear a crash helmet in bed. Right. That's it. That's it, mate. Then her out and away we go. Right? Oh, Off you go, boy. Hello, Arthur, mate. What's up? I can't start a ruddy thing. What do you stop it for? Olive. Oh. <laughs> well, hang on a minute. We'll give you a hand. I'm ready now, Arthur. Oh, shut up. <laughs> All right, I'm doing my face. No, no, Arthur, 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 you're doing it all wrong. Get it at the top of the stroke and give it a good hard kick like I did. All right. Ah! <laughs> That's very good. That's exactly like you did it. <laughs> Get back to start off again. Have you got any more good advice? Am I going to start a thing now? Here, have we got any passengers on our bus? No, why? Well, I've got a good idea. No, it'll work this time. I wonder what brilliance is passing through his mind now. Well, oh, we can't go back for him. He'll have to sort it out himself. Come on, jump on. Jack. This bus rattles worse than ever. There's a shocking clatter coming from the back, you know. Yes, I heard that too. Yeah. We'll have to get that fixed, you know. Yeah, get it round the, the maintenance, mate. Butter. Butter. <laughs> <laughs> I've just about had a belly full of you, mate. I've just about had enough of you. Where'd you, where'd you get them from? <laughs> Where'd I get them from? <laughs> they was tied on the back of your bus, weren't they? I thought you told me. I that... don't know. You've don't been you? trailing it all over the town. I've had, I've had telephone calls all day long about this. How'd it get there? Uh, we don't know. Don't know. Look, you'd better give me an explanation of this. Oh, well, oh, there's a perfectly simple explanation, isn't yeah. there? Yeah. You tell him. <laughs> oh, come on. Well, oh, um, on. yeah, uh, well, uh, what. Um, um, ah! Yes, what happened was this, you see, this fellow got on the bus, I think he was an old-time sailor, actually, and I must admit, I was moving down the high street a bit. I suppose he, he got a bit windy and he chucked that out as a sort of, um, second anchor. <laughs> <laughs> Twit! The way you drive, mate, that'd be perfectly possible. But it just so happens that that is a pair of handlebars, not a blooming sheet anchor. He's right, you know. 
Come on, let's have an explanation. Otherwise, you're going to get dragged up in front of the general manager. Well, look, I expect some kid tied it on the back when we stopped. I tell you what, give it to me, I'll get rid of them for oh, you. Oh, no, oh, yes, no. No, 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 no. No, that's going in the general manager's office until some idiot comes to claim it. <laughs> well, there are the handlebars. I wonder how they're getting on with the rest of the bike. <laughs> Never get back to normal. Yeah, well, it's your fault, isn't it? There was no need for you to push it up the hill. I told you I was perfectly willing to do it on my own. I didn't want my husband to get a rupture. <laughs> well, I don't think that would have affected you in any way. Oh, here's Stan. Oh. Oh, well, you made it home all right, then. Yeah. Uh... Hello? What's up with you two? What's up with us two? We had to push the bike five miles home. Well, why don't you take it to a garage and get it fixed? Because you had the handlebars, didn't you? <laughs> Fancy leaving me sitting there all on me own with me hands stuck out in the air looking like a twit. You don't have to have your hands stuck out in mid-air to look a twit. Besides, we had it arranged. If anything went wrong, you was to blow on the uter. Now then, what happened? The uter was on the handlebars. <laughs> Well, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's something I've got to tell you. You see, uh, the, the, uh, the inspector found a, man, found a man in on the back of the bus and, uh, well, he's compounded them until somebody uh, comes and collects them. That's he. Yeah. Right. Well, I should go and claim them then, mate. Don't you hey. dare. Hey. Hey. Well, I'm telling you, mate, don't you go down that garage. Blimey, if he thinks I've towed your bike on the back of my bus, I'll get the bullet. I can't help that, mate. You have broken my handlebars off. I intend to go and get them. You get out of the way. Come no, on. Uh, no, listen. No, 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 I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I didn't mind what I say. You do somebody a favour and they want to go to the garage and put the boot in for Is you. Is that what it was? Was it a favour you oh, did me? Of you broke the handlebars yeah. off my butt. I'm going to get them. Now, Look, get mate, out. You get down that garage, mate. I'll break more than you, that. You and who else? Me by myself. I'll flatten you, mate. Only when you're then. driving your bus for <laughs> 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 That's all right. We're back in the bowl again. Oh, no. No, now me feel smell of boiled corn. You were lucky there, that mate. I you was mean nearly you up, were yeah, lucky, well, boy. Man. I'm led to believe that a set of handlebars that cost a fiver. No, either you hand over a fiver <laughs> or I go and see that inspector of yours. Oh. That's blackmail. That is blackmail. You're quite right. Hand it over. <laughs> Got no alternative, have I? No, you haven't. You're a right and you are. Well, I'll have you know this. This happens to be my last fiver. Rotten thing. I was going to take a bird out with that tonight. You'll have me in tears, mate. Anyway, keep me out of mischief. Never mind about the bird. You strip down my gearbox instead. <laughs> oh, I should go get the other bars. <laughs> Ain't marvellous. You help somebody? And what do you get? Nothing but frustration. Oh, really? Ruddy bike. What do you want to buy the blasted thing for? Oh. <laughs> 